Hello everyone, Atmos76x here with a little Conquest gameplay for you on Oasis. It's been a little while since I posted up a video of Battlefield, but I have a few excuses to share with you. But before I do that, you have to watch this nice little double kill right here. Ah, uh, you're pissed. <laughs> uh, I'm surprised that guy didn't kill me, but uh, as always, we're playing hardcore. And um, a little quick thing about this game here is... Uh, I started it um, a little bit in. I started the game. I, I played this whole game from the beginning, but uh, I cut the video down to two minutes just for time to fit it onto YouTube. But uh, enough about that. I want to talk about what I've been doing, and uh, mainly I've uh, been I've been really busy. Honestly, school just started, um, and I honestly haven't been playing a whole lot of Battlefield Bad Company 2 lately. My interest level in the game has kind of fallen a little bit, just because uh, I I honestly have been, I I played it quite a bit for the last couple of months, and um, you know I'm I'm kind of getting a little boredish with it. I mean I I just needed a break honestly. Not so much bored. I actually kind of want to play it again after uh, watching this. And uh, honestly, you know what really made me want to play it was a trailer I saw of Battlefield 3 <laughs> today. It's, uh, uh, I believe it's called the Guillotine trailer. And wow. <laughs> that trailer looks awesome. <laughs> Um, quick little tip here for Conquest is uh, always try and keep B. Um, the best thing that you can do right from the start is hop in a vehicle and go and try and cap B as fast as possible. You rush B, you have a significant advantage because then you can... Uh, uh, if you have B, and let's say they somehow take the base closest to you, which would be C for me and this team, if they were to take C and we had B, we, it would be easier for us to take C because then we'd have uh, two ways of going about capturing C. But uh, mainly in this game, I'm uh, playing pretty conservatively. This is just a textbook way of playing Conquest is uh, being safe. Oh, that should have killed somebody right there. But being safe, trying to cap bases and all that good stuff. And uh, trying to play smart. You know, staying in tight corners, so... Oh, there's a guy right there. What am I going to do? I hope I kill this guy. Owned! <laughs> <sighs> yeah, this, uh... The Ump is a very, very good submachine gun. Um, it's uh, on par with the SCAR. Except it, I think it has a little bit less recoil. But it holds five less rounds, which, you know, depending on who you are, that could be a shitload, depending on how well you with the gun. I never really have problems with it. But yeah, um, let me get back to this guillotine trailer. First of all, I saw the first guillotine trailer and that looked awesome. It reminded me of, um, what was it? What's the map? I think it's Bog from Modern Warfare. Awesome. That, that That's probably one of the most popular maps on that game. It's Bog. And, uh, the thing I love about Bog, too, from Modern Warfare was, uh, that it was in the single player campaign. Now I don't know if this map is going to be a uh, multiplayer map or not, but the way they made it look, it seemed like it could be. But if it's not, you know, whatever. I'll I'll enjoy the single player campaign of it. I, the, I've uh, everything I've seen from uh, Battlefield 3 is looking really promising. I mean, it's looking really promising. And um, yeah. Actually, there's been uh, quite a few uh, trailers released since I've made a video about uh, Battlefield or even sort of Call of Duty. I don't really... I, don't know, I just pretty much complain about Call of Duty, yeah. <laughs> Say, oh, God. No, look at those ninja reflexes right there. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know what? That, that, that reminds me. I've been watching... I've been keeping up on these... Uh, whoa, whoa. What the hell? What a jackass. <laughs> I think I remember this guy now. Yeah, he just kept noob tubing from across the map. First person I've seen do that in this game in a long time. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm not lying when I say this. Every Modern Warfare 3 trailer I see 
makes me like it even less. Makes me even less interested in it. I'm I I am not even joking when I say this. And when I'm watching these, like I saw that whole multiplayer reveal, and all I saw in that was them trying to make Call of Duty more like Battlefield. And from what I saw, you know, I mean, I'm sure somebody would be like, no, it's completely different, but you know what? They're adding classes to the game, like set classes. They're uh, doing something with the dog tags. Now, I think, at first I thought uh, they are trying to make it so you could steal other people's dog tags. I was like, are you kidding me? This is like the corniest looking thing. You see these floating dog tags, but it's actually a, uh, a, uh, a game mode called... Um, kill confirmed and it's like you kill the guy and you have to pick up their dog tags or something I don't fucking know I'll never play it honestly I it's like that sticks and stones um gameplay like what was it the uh, the wager matches I never played them I never cared about it I never had enough interest to even try it you know I mean sure they might be a little fun but I I, I never even bothered they, they might be different but that doesn't mean they're for me I'm not into that kind of stuff some people are, but it's I've just never had any interest in playing. And this kill confirmed doesn't it doesn't seem interesting at all to me. But you know what does seem interesting to me is this guillotine trailer. Um, one thing about this is that uh, the the game the the trailer was sh shot using the Xbox 360 footage. And anyone who thought that the Xbox 360... Oh, my, I fucking hated this bar. Chasing these guys forever. <laughs> like that, that was annoying. I suppose. Chase that guy forever. I only, I only think I killed the guy I was chasing. Either. I killed the other guy, I think. <laughs> but, uh... But, yeah. This game looks incredible. Like, it looks way better than Modern Warfare 3. Modern Warfare 3, to me, looks like crap now. And that, that game, it, it looks pretty good, but this game looks awesome. Like, just, I don't know, the, like, the whole immersion of it just seems so incredible. Like, when you, if you watch this, you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. It just seems awesome. I, I can't even really describe it. Like, uh, the, uh, <laughs> yeah, I remember this guy. This, this guy's a pain in the ass. <laughs> I don't know how I didn't kill him with that grenade, but whatever. No, the uh, the map looks just. I there you know I don't know for me there's uh there's something like I can tell when I'm gonna like a map and when I'm not gonna like a map. I know I'm gonna like this level at least. Um, and I really do hope they have a uh, a multiplayer tra uh, map for it because it looks so good. Like there, it's like at night and there's like fire everywhere and it. I don't know, it's just like carnage. It kind of looks like uh, the beginning of like Terminator 2 or something. <laughs> it's just like this uh, ravaged like uh, city. It's kind of like this, but at night. And more fire. Oh, I remember that, yeah. This guy just comes out of nowhere and kills me from behind. It's like, what were you doing? Hiding in the water? Were you a Navy SEAL? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, it just... I, I can't wait to play it. That, that's all I can say about that. <laughs> it's funny when I watch this again and I see something like I just get angry instantly. It's like, what the hell? <laughs> Damn douchebag sniper fucking hiding in the far back. Oh, okay. That, you know what? That probably made me feel the same way when I was playing as it did just now. I, I got slightly excited knowing that I didn't die right there. <laughs> but, uh... God, I cannot, cannot wait to play this. I was watching myself here. See, that's that my primary objective is to cap the base. Always make sure you cap the base. It'll make everything easier and you can get reinforcements really fast because generally people like to spawn with a new area. This is like a subliminal, like, it's like something in your subconscious. You want to go to the new area, you know. Watch me, I'm going sniper hunting. Checking my map there. Let's me know where the action's at. <laughs> but now I'm determined to find the sniper right now, I know I am. <laughs> uh. 
Had a slight distraction there in real life, had to go attend to. So, uh, yeah, anyway, I'm back. But, um, yeah, and in terms of uh, Modern Warfare 3 and Battlefield 3, in terms of uh, verses, I mean, I, I think it's funny when people try and say, like, dude, how can you even compare these games? They're two completely different games. No, they're not. They're both military first-person shooters. They're both going for the same audience. Although I will say Battlefield's audience is a little bit more mature, for sure. <laughs> um, they're definitely less assholes, that's for sure. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, there, there are assholes, though. I fucking... Believe me, I, I've met them. Effing trolls. <laughs> um... But, I, honestly, oh, <laughs> owned, I don't know why that guy shot that tracer dart at me. <laughs> Dumbass. I'm going to get an extra 50 points for marking this dude, and then I'm going to snipe him. <laughs> no, you're not. <clears throat> but, yeah, um, the only thing that honestly makes me uh, interested in playing Modern Warfare 3 are the guns a little bit, just because both the games have... Uh, really good weapons list, and I mean a really good weapons list, uh, but I, I mean they're almost even, I think, they, they, they are even, but there's like a one or two weapons I like to, would like to try with uh, Modern Warfare 3, but it's honestly, it's like, yeah, I don't really need to. <laughs> I do think that uh, the best weapons list was in Modern Warfare 2, I thought that was a really great weapons list. It just seems like, oh, watch this. Watch this right here. <laughs> Wait, why, did I, why did I just shoot the tank with my gun now? So I repair drill it to death, and then a teammate fucking kills me. You dumbass. I, I hate that. I hate friendly fire like that so much. She's like, dude, really, why? So, <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's really annoying. But, knowing me, what do I do? I chase the guy down and shoot the shit out of him because he team killed me. <laughs> should I have cut that out? No, I shouldn't have. I should have showed you all that, like I did, because that guy was an asshole and deserved to die like that. <laughs> Douchebag. Watch your friendly fire. There's no reason why he couldn't have seen me. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, I really... I. The more stuff I see about Modern Warfare 3, the less I'm interested in it. And that's just me. I want to know what you guys think. What do you, what do you guys think? A is it just me? Am I the only one that's like losing interest in Modern Warfare 3? But I'm gaining interest in Battlefield 3. I want to play Battlefield 3 like way more. I, I feel more interested in Battlefield 3 than I ever have in a first-person shooter. Like, I'm I'm getting really excited about this game. After seeing this guillotine trailer, seeing that on, first of all, the Xbox 360, the main thing I'm going to be playing the game on, how good it looks, and then just seeing, like, all the, like, extra, like, little things, like, you can kick down doors and stuff, I mean, it's a small thing, but it just looks really cool. Ah, <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Hiding in the rubble, killing guys. Oh, God, that that is awesome. That's a great way to finish off a game. But, uh, anyway, guys, thanks for watching my stuff. Um, there will be more videos coming in the future. There will be a lot more once Battlefield 3 comes out. And you know what? It's only a couple weeks away from now, so, you know, things are looking good. <laughs> I'm, I'm really excited, so. All right, guys, thanks for watching again. Take it easy. Have a good night.